Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at the returns process in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations using the Advanced Warehouse module. So this week we're going to be taking a look at the returns process using Advanced Warehouse and Dynamics 365. And it's very similar to the purchasing process. You know, the, when you first receive the item, it's going to go into the re default receiving location, and then from there you do a put away step. The RMA process has this has similar menu items where you can do a one-step process and, or a two-step process. Today we're going to take a look at a two-step process where we're going to receive into the default receiving location and then we'll do a put away step. Also last week we did a video on the disposition codes and how to use those with purchase order receiving. Those disposition codes become more important on the RMA side as it's setting a disposition code on the RMA. So let's take a look at the setup first. Okay, so let's take a look at the RMA setup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at disposition codes. So we're going to go under warehouse management, setup, and then we're going to go under the mobile device, and then our disposition codes are here. Now last week we looked at disposition codes in the purchasing process. This week we're going to use this, the same codes for, well different codes, but the same area for the RMA process. So we've got two codes here, RMA credit and RMA scrap. They are linked to return disposition codes 11 and 61. Now the return disposition codes you have here in this column are, are the codes you'd use if you're manually registering the RMA. Um, so this just links the, where, the warehouse management disposition code over to the return disposition code. The other thing that you'll notice is when you have a return disposition code set, these are the only ones that are going to set up, show up on the return. So when we do the drop down, we're not going to have this available in blocking. We'll only have the RMA credit and RMA scrap. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and take a look at is the location directives. So we're going to go to location directives under setup. And we have a work order type of return orders. And today I'm going to be using Warehouse 24, so we're going to concentrate on this first one here. And the main thing on this setup here is we, we specified one of the disposition codes. Um, so you can have a location directive set for every disposition code and send it to different areas of the warehouse. So this one I've got the RMA credit disposition code here. Um, and then if I look down here in the, the actions and the edit query, I'm just sending it to a return zone. Okay, so pretty simple setup there. And then the next piece of setup we're going to take a look at is the work template. So we have to have a work template here. So under setup, warehouse management setup, and then work, we'll go into work templates. And if we go into return orders here, we've got a um, single work template and with a pick and a put. All right, so the next thing we're going to take a look at, let's go take a look at the mobile device setup. So if we're going to warehouse management, setup, mobile device, mobile device menu items. And if I scroll down here to my RMAs here. So I've got three, RMA and put away, RMA put away, and RMA receive. So very similar processes to the purchasing processes. So RMA and, and put away is a one-step process where you have return order receiving and put away all in the same step. So that'd be kind of like your single step PO receiving. And then the process I'm going to show you today is a receive and put away. I'm going to show you a two-step process. So I've got the RMA receive set up here and then the RMA put away. Okay, so the RMA put away is going to use work that the RMA receive uh, generates. So the RMA receive is going to work very similar to the purchasing process where it's going to receive it into the receiving location that's set up under the warehouse management or warehouse parameters. And then the RMA put away is going to look for RMA work classes. And I've got this one set up as system directed at the moment and should just pop up and ask us to put it away. Okay, so now that we've seen the setup, now what we can do is we can uh, actually receive in an RMA. So I've created an RMA with two items on it, and we'll just basically be receiving that in using a credit disposition code, and we'll be taking a look at the work. So let's do that next. Okay, so I've created an RMA for us here with two items on it, A0001 and A0002, just for one apiece, and notice that the quality return is, is, is blank at the moment. So let's go ahead and we'll copy this, or, or let's see, I can remember that, 00031. So let's go into the Warehouse Management um, app, and so this is going to be an inbound. I've got this in my inbound menu, and then we're going to do the RMA receive. All right, so the RMA number is going to be 00031. And then so our first item is going to be our A0002. Actually, let's do the one first, A0001. 
And it's going to ask me for a license plate because it is going into a receiving location. I'm just going to put Scott uh, G1. And then, so let's go check our disposition code uh, and we'll go back one here. I could have defaulted this item in, when I was doing the app setup menu, uh, but I didn't default it. So let's go ahead and we'll select one. We'll do RMA credit. And then for a quantity of one. All right, then that takes care of our A0001. So let's do the A0002 next. So A0002. And again, it's going to ask me for a license plate, so I'll put Scott G2 on there. And again, I'm going to choose that same disposition code. My credit. Okay, this. And then enter one. Okay, and then that work's completed. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what work was actually created for that. So let me actually let me refresh this first. And so we've got quantity returned one and one. So basically what this did was register these items. And to finish out this RMA, you would you'd basically just do the same process you would you'd normally do. You'd, you know, in, uh, send your acknowledgement if that's part of your process and then, then invoice this in the sales order screen. But what I want to do is go look at the work though that was created for this. So if I go down to warehouse management, and we collapse the setup menu and let's go look at the work and all work. So we've got two two uh, work items that were created for us here on the return items for uh, order number 785 there. So if we go click on this one first, we look in there and it's going to direct us from the receiving location to the return. And then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the on hand on this one real quick. So if we open this one up. Look at the inventory on it. And let's go ahead and add some dimensions. So we'll pull up the location, license plate, and our inventory status. And we should see in location 24, there's our item here with our, our Scott G um, license plate for that A0001. So let's go do the same thing for the A0002. Click on the second work here. And so the same sort of thing here. We've got uh, just a pick from the receive location and a put into the return location. So if we look at the A0002 inventory. And I forgot to save my dimensions, so let's go and add that back. And then so there's our Scott G2 in the receive location. Okay, so to finish this up, what we can do is we can go ahead and do the put away here. So let's um, back out of the RMA receive and go to the RMA put away. And this is system directed, so it's just gonna take me through the work here. So it's, it's picking up the A0001 first. So I'm gonna take it from the receive location, the A0001 for one piece. I'm gonna say okay here. It's telling me to put it in the return location, the A0001. And then that work is completed. And then now it's telling me to take the A0002 from the receive location. And we're going to put that into the uh, return location for the A0002. So as you can see, the returns process is very similar to the purchasing process. It's very similar in terms of setup as well. So you just have to make sure that you have your disposition code set up and then you're going to link those disposition codes to location directives. And then once you get your location directive set up, you're going to use, set up your work templates. Very similar, almost exact same process as on the purchasing side. And then it's executed basically the same way on the purchasing side as well. So today I showed a two-step. Remember, there is the option to do a single step. So, but the two-step, you basically step one is you're going to check the, the merchandise in and put it to the receive location. And then the second step is you're going to do a put away from the receive location to wherever you're going to put it away. In my example here, I send it to a return location, but it's just as easy to send it to the shelf, to the fixed location, or wherever you really want it to go from that point. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up or like it. And I put one of these videos out about once a week, so feel free to subscribe to catch the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching.